What if I told you that the oldest and most distant complex organic molecules in the universe are hiding in plain sight, in a galaxy more than 12 billion light years away from us? And what if I told you that these molecules are similar to smoke or smog on Earth, and that they are the building blocks of life as we know it? Would you believe me? Well, you should, because that's exactly what a team of astronomers discovered, using the most powerful telescope ever built, the James Webb Space Telescope. This is one of the most amazing and surprising discoveries in astronomy, and it challenges everything we thought we knew about the early history of the universe. How did these molecules get there? What do they tell us about the physical and chemical processes that shaped galaxies, stars, and planets? And what does this mean for the search for life beyond Earth? In this video, we will answer these questions and more, as we explore the cosmic chemistry of the universe. But before we do that, Make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos. Now let's get ready to be amazed by what the universe has to offer. As you know, the James Webb Space Telescope is a revolutionary observatory that can see things that no other telescope can see. It can look back in time to see some of the first light sources that emerged after the Big Bang, such as quasars, supernova, and star-forming regions. It can also examine the atmospheres of exoplanets, or planets outside our solar system, to search for signs of habitability or biosignatures. But one of the most amazing things that Webb can do is to reveal the cosmic chemistry of the universe by detecting complex organic molecules in distant galaxies. Complex organic molecules are carbon-based compounds that have multiple rings or chains of atoms in their structure. They are called organic because they are essential for life as we know it on Earth. Some examples of complex organic molecules are DNA, proteins, sugars, fats, and hormones. These molecules are the building blocks of living cells, and they carry out many functions such as storing information, catalyzing reactions, providing energy, and regulating processes. But how did these molecules form in the first place? And how did they spread throughout the universe? These are some of the biggest questions in astronomy, and until recently, they were also some of the most puzzling ones. That's because complex organic molecules are very hard to detect in space. They are usually hidden by thick clouds of gas and dust that block visible light. And even when they are exposed to infrared light, they are easily destroyed by ultraviolet radiation from hot stars or active galactic nuclei. So how did Webb manage to find them in a galaxy that is more than 12 billion light years away from us? And what does this discovery tell us about the early history of the universe? The galaxy that James Webb observed is called SPT041847. It is one of the most distant galaxies ever detected, and it formed when the universe was less than 1.5 billion years old or about 10% of its current age. This means that the light we see from this galaxy started its journey when the universe was very young and different from what it is today. This galaxy is a very interesting for several reasons. First, it is a very active galaxy that is forming stars at a high rate. It has a lot of gas and dust that provide the raw material for new stars and planets. It also has a lot of heavy elements such as carbon, oxygen, and nitrogen that are produced by nuclear fusion inside stars. These elements are essential for complex chemistry and life. Second, this galaxy is very lucky to benefit from a cosmic coincidence. It happens to line up almost perfectly with another galaxy that is closer to us, only 3 billion light years away. This alignment creates a phenomenon called gravitational lensing, which occurs when light from the background galaxy is warped and magnified by the foreground galaxy into a ring-like shape, known as an Einstein ring. This effect boosts the signal from this galaxy by a factor of about 30 to 35, making it possible for James Webb to observe it in detail. Third, this galaxy is very surprising and defies our expectations. It contains a large amount of complex organic molecules similar to smoke or smog on Earth, called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, or PAHs for short. These molecules are composed of multiple rings of carbon and hydrogen atoms, and they have a characteristic infrared signature that can be recognized by Webb. PAHs are usually associated with mature stars that have enriched their surroundings with heavy elements such as carbon. However, 
This galaxy is so young that it has not had much time to form many stars or metals. So how did these molecules get there? And what do they tell us about the early history of the universe? The presence of PAH in SPT-041847 is a mystery that challenges our understanding of cosmic chemistry. How did these molecules form so quickly after the Big Bang? And how did they survive in such a harsh and primitive environment? There are several possible explanations for this puzzle, but none of them are conclusive. One possibility is that PAHs formed in situ, or within the galaxy itself. This could happen if the gas and dust in the galaxy were exposed to enough heat and pressure to trigger chemical reactions that produced PAHs. This heat and pressure could come from shocks caused by supernova explosions or from turbulence caused by gravitational instabilities. However, this scenario requires a very high efficiency of PAH formation, which is not well understood. Another possibility is that PAHs formed ex situ, or outside the galaxy, and were later transported into the galaxy by intergalactic winds or streams. This could happen if the PAHs were produced by older stars in nearby galaxies and were then ejected into the intergalactic medium by stellar winds or supernova explosions. However, this scenario requires a very high survival rate of PAHs, which is not well constrained. A third possibility is that PAHs are formed by a combination of both in situ and ex situ processes with some contribution from each source. This could happen if the PAHs were partially produced by older stars in nearby galaxies and partially produced by shocks or turbulence in the galaxy. However, this scenario requires a very fine balance of PAH production and destruction, which is not well calibrated. Regardless of how they formed, the PAHs in this galaxy tell us a lot about the early history of the universe. So what does this discovery mean for our understanding of the universe and life? Well, it shows that complex organic molecules can form very quickly after the Big Bang, even in harsh and primitive environments. It also suggests that these molecules may be more widespread and diverse than we thought, opening up new possibilities for the origin and evolution of life in the cosmos. It also demonstrates the amazing power and potential of James Webb, which will continue to explore the mysteries of the universe and reveal new wonders and surprises. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please give it a like and leave a comment below. What do you think about this discovery? What else do you want to know about James Webb and its missions? Let us know your thoughts and questions. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when we upload new videos. Thanks for watching.